Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, my eternal campaign let's play, again. Uh, in this part, we're going to polish off the rest of this, uh, what do they call this again? I don't know, the time element uh, campaign. Yes, we shall do that. And we're going to start here in... What is this? Against whoever this is, we're going to get another spell. This is interesting, it rewards like life gain and ramp. Let's give it a shot, let's give this a shot. I haven't edited the last part yet, as I'm recording these back to back. I just want to see how this works, this audio directly to the webcam works. I think it should work pretty well, and I I like this hand, so we're gonna keep it. Justice! Whoa! Alright, end turn. Wow, why does he get this cool effect? And all I get is this. Ooh, rocks falling from the sky. It's really, really cool. Alright, we are going to play... Probably this guy. Uh, it gives us immediate presence on the board and he has to fight it. This wouldn't give us just 1-1, one, one, it's not that bad. And uh, he immediately played something that's pretty good. Warcry is really, really a good effect. I think I don't want him to have it. And I can still play this. Though I should have played it first because it lets me draw. And uh, I could have. Yeah, well, it didn't matter in this case, but normally you want to draw first because you might top deck an answer. And that attack wasn't worth it. I don't know why I did it. I just thought he might not block or something, but I don't have any pressure on the board. So it wasn't worth it. Mark of Shame. Cursed unit. There's a curse in Aura. Uh, let's just play a guy. A guy that can be of immediate help to us. Oh wow, and positioning doesn't matter in this game, I just realized, because it's based on blocking. It doesn't matter where you're trading your card into. Kuru Fledgling. Alright, uh, play my guy now, but it's attack first. Of course he's going to just... So let's, actually, let's not attack first. Let's play our towering Tarzan. Force him to deal with it next turn. I really like this effect. It's so cool. Treasury Guard with Endurance. Is Endurance... Endurance is like Vigilance, I'm assuming. Ready's on each... Yeah, Ready's on each player's turn. It's basically what that means. We want to give this here because um, then our Overwhelm is stronger. It, gives, it makes our effect uh, much more powerful. It's probably just going to let it go through. Wow, what a weird play. But you don't really know what the AI is ever going to do. This is... Let's block one a bit more. So we're going to get some value here. <laughs> okay, so minus one just means zero. It doesn't mean I heal it. Minotaur Grunt with Warcry. That's a really, really good effect. Um... I may put another unit into its own team. Now, what does that give me here? I'm actually going to do that here like this. Because, uh, I don't want him to have to, to be able to attack with that on uh, his turn. Oh, detain. Okay. I have to scratch my leg. He's double, oh, he's double blocking it. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good play. See, and it also helps to know what cards are in the game. Since I have no idea, really, um, I fell right into that trap. Warcry! Ah, do I have enough to do that? I don't. This is seven, I have six. So I'll just do this. Or I could have just waited, but I really don't like this. He could have another detained guy, but he doesn't. And it's only bleeding one through. And here, I think it's actually more valuable to do that, because the Warcry is such a powerful effect. Yeah, and he only takes one. And I have enough mana, I might as well heal. I cannot see a reason why not to, because I can't choose the target for the heal. It's just you gain five heart. I'll block what I can block. Now we can't block. So I just win? Oh no, I don't just win. 
Rip, rip, rip. Oh, it's not gonna be good to block. If I attack with this, he can just block it. Oh, he's just gonna let it go through. He's only gonna block if I attack with this one too. He's gonna block here. So this goes through and I lose a guy. And he got a banner. Banner gives him this. Gives him Oh what? What? Is that an active effect? Oh no, it's just if you have that many. How does that work? Does it have anything else? That's really, really powerful. Champion of progress. More like Okay, so if I attack in here with my 6-7, my 3-4, and my 2-2, two, two. he blocks all of them, and I get no damage in, likely. So I'm just gonna... I guess I'll just eat the 12-12 if he sends it in next turn. I can't see him sending it in, though, because that would leave him completely open to an attack. Okay. <laughs> it goes higher up if it has more attack. Another one! Another one. I played myself. I played myself. Oh. I'm just gonna have to eat two 12 12 attacks next turn. It looks like. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna eat it. I don't really. Ah! Doesn't really matter to me. And now I can't afford to eat it, so. Oh wait, shit. He has lethal next turn. No, he doesn't. I can block two of them. Yep. Yeah. So if he sends him in, I don't lose next turn. I just need him to... I just I could take this one, but I have to block it. Okay, that's not what's happening anyway. Because he's going to block like here and like here. Then these send through, and then I just lose, so I have to end my turn again. I don't know why I just let myself be in this position. I guess either way I would have been in it. It's just, this gives me more incentive. Oh, here we go. It still doesn't matter. That's a relic. Okay. Well, now I don't lose to a big swing. I just need we, I need one thing to turn the tides. If I can get my hand on that little bug again, that would be really, really sweet. Or I could just silence a unit. Zero, zero. Six, six. Not zero, zero. That's so strong. This can be an 18-18. Wow. Still not really worth it, but at least I can trade in with this 12-12. Oh. You know, he drew another one. That's why he's doing this. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to do this. I have to. Because if I... I don't want to risk it, because he could play another one of these guys. to tan. Well, he loses now. Yeah, you lose now. It doesn't matter. However you block, the damage is going through. You're getting taken two you're taking two damage, guy. See if I care. You're taking two damage. And then two bleeds through. And then two bleeds through. Oh no dab. I put myself in a position to lose though there. Against an AI. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Let's see what our rewards are. We have reaped the rewards, fellow eternal players. Or watchers. Play five five sentinel. If you have five if you have more than twenty-five health, play five sentinels. That's pretty good. Here we go. Tamir who sees beyond. Overwhelm your units have destiny. Automatically play one drawn, then draw another card. So this is, uh, I mean, that's expensive, 8 with a 3, but you're going to have to deal with that, like, immediately. That's so powerful. I wonder if it's in my deck, so I can try it out before it's given to me. This is fine. Because I can draw off this. Play a 1-1 one, one Grenadin. Ah, more pomegranate syrup. And we'll hit the end turn button, because we don't want to silence anything. No blocks. Wow, that's powerful. Now, I, I want to play this, so I have a threat 
a blocking threat on board, but I need to get a time sigil for next turn. Then again, I could play this this turn, and then if I really need a time sigil, I play next turn. You just don't want to miss any... Yeah, okay. But you really, it's hard, because you, if I, alright, hopefully I top deck it so I don't have to explain this, because I'm having a little bit of trouble explaining it. But I want to be able to play one mana every turn, until I get to a certain amount of mana, so that I can, um, be rewarded, basically. Like, yeah, here, I'm gonna have to play this anyway. It's not like I wanted to play any of these with only one guy on board, though, so, it's not too bad. However... I think I want to silence this guy just for the sheer fact that his ability is pretty powerful. Get, uh, how, uh, I mean, I silenced it, I can't read it now, but it was get a plus two plus two obsidian armor, I don't know how much that cost, I'm assuming it's like one, but hopefully it would have been the same, see, there we go, it's more armor, I mean not armor, whatever you call that, mana stuffs. Here, now I can attack, you'll block with this likely, no I don't want to attack, <laughs> I don't want a 2-2 flying gargoyle on the field. I'd rather have the O2. I'll just wait until I get another silence. Simple. Another time sigil. That is what I'm talking about. Scrap tank. Play 2-1-1 Grenadier. What is... Whoa! Uh... Okay. It's actually not horrible. So I'm not, like, punished. I'm not punished for that. Because I can just drop my Scorpion Wasp. Sacrifice a unit to kill a unit. Now I'm punished. Does he have, like, Overwhelm? Nope. Okay. I can, I can do this. Does it immediately affect me? It could. If I do this again, though... Um... Now this is the trade-off. Do I play aggressively or do I play defensively? If my units get plus one, plus one, this goes to eight, seven, and this goes to five, six, I could send both of these guys in, and he'd probably want to block with one of these, or just probably chump block here like this, and then I just lose my guy, and this guy would get stronger. So we'll just end the turn, based on that little explanation I've just given. Ooh, that's pretty cool. What? I just silenced that. That's not fair. I'll just play this now. No incentive. Well, oh shit. I mean, that's not a horrible play though. No, I really don't want to attack. I don't know what to do here. This is tough. I need some sort of board clear or some way to draw another one. That's cool. I guess we're in a stalemate here. A stalemate arena, just a top deck battle. You may sacrifice another unit to give Ravenous Storm Beast plus two plus two. Okay, this is going to seven seven, and he gets a two two flyer. Oh gulp! And I'm drawing land. Wow, this feels a lot like magic. I'm drawing land when I need to not be drawing land. Go ahead, play it. I don't care. I'll take the two two in the air. I'm a time sigil for my deck. You know, at least it gets rid of a time sigil in my deck, so maybe I won't draw it. But I can't attack now with this. I can attack with this, but it'll just block with one of these guys. Or one of his 1 1s. Like, this is such a problem. I don't know what to do here. And then I just have to take two each. I have to eat two damage each turn, because it's better than eating seven. This is. Oh my god. This is the only thing stopping him from attacking with other things. Or her. Yeah, that's a her. Goodbye. Now I would have sacrificed one of these and then just one swung into the team. Oh, is the team coming in? Hello, the team. Oh boy. I think I can afford to take seven. Yeah, I can afford to take that much. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. I should have blocked. I don't know why I didn't block with this guy. That's a really, really dumb move. <laughs> if I have more than 25 health, I have no health. And let's see. 
I block these guys. I still take three. Alright, well, it's better. I'd, I'd rather give myself a chance to win than no chance at all. And you know what? The funny thing is here. If I were to double block like this, that's a buff. Like, I, I, I mean, a heal. I get health out of that. What's my play here? Is that my play? Because he's going to kill this guy regardless. But if I block here together, this is 11 total. He kills one. Because he's killing one regardless. He's probably killing two actually for the matter. For that matter. For that regard. In that regard. I don't know what phrase I was trying to go for there. Um, I think... Do I take four? I guess it's better than losing. I think I just lose anyway. I'm gonna have to redo. Oh, yep. What is that? Oh, okay. Set to seven. Yeah, psh. Set to seven. Oh, darn. You got me, guy. Set my health to seven. Oh, overwhelmed. Let's not quit though until we are for sure. Okay. Killer, what does that do? Maybe exhausted one time to attack in the unit. Do they have charge? What is that? Maybe exhausted one time to kill in the unit. I probably should have done that to the 2 2 guy. Because I can't block the flyer still. Okay, here we go. Health. Yes. Yes. Exactly what I want. Right. We're not going to send in the fleet. We're just going to send in one. Because I can afford this now. End turn. Ha! <laughs> Got him right where I want him. That's pretty good. Pretty good for me. Except he has a lot of cards in his hand now. I'm gonna have to play blocks. Please draw another one. Oh my goodness. Recogulator. Oh my goodness. That's really bad for me. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of guys. Jesus. What am I supposed to- how am I supposed to win this? Oh wow. Maybe that's how. Okay, let's try to force the issue here a little. Then again, you can just let all this through and then deal a lot of damage to me next turn. It's better than nothing. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, it did matter, it did matter. It mattered a little bit. But he gets more guys now. And I'm taking upwards of a lot of damage. But they all have one health, so if I can draw something that hurts their one health... Let's draw more cards, let's get some more health, please. Nope, time sigil. One turn. Now I don't want to attack, because I don't have Overwhelm. Sacrifice enemy with kill enemy. Sacrifice friendly with kill enemy. Attack. Do it. Do it. A sigil. I'm probably playing this completely incorrectly. Like, I could probably be swinging in because the AI is probably not that smart. I would, you know, hit this one if I was him. Hit the effect. And he did not. And it didn't matter. Or it doesn't matter. There you go. Now we're pretty much on even ground here. What is the obsidian armor? I want to see what the party does. Oh, it's 2 2 2. Alright. It's not horrible for me. Okay. Now I'm in a, in a better spot. My guys are more statted than this. And now I can play aggressively. Nope, not you guys. <laughs> just just you guys. <laughs> just you three. You, you three strong ones. Yeah, a little triple block. And then single block. And let in six? No, no, it is blocked. 
Honestly, not that torn up about that. Because I healed for like 15. Forge Wolf. It's not that bad. Sounds like someone's about to walk down the stairs, so be prepared. It's fine. I have the upper hand now. Because the AI didn't try to pressure me. If he tried to pressure me by attacking every turn, I probably would not have been able to win. But a lack. Yep. And now I can attack him with the squad. Because what do I have to lose? That's the game, my friends. Um, this one was long. And then just in case. You know, you gotta be sure. You gotta be sure you're getting all your damage in. Because he could have had something like minus six to all units or something, I don't know. We did it! Ah, victory. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get my reward. Oh yes. Wonderful. So we got the reward. Oh, there's more rewards. Pax, Pax. Sands of Time theme deck. Very cool. A lot of, lot of cards. We still have three packs. Oh, alright. So next time, this is what we'll do. We'll, oh, there are a lot. Oh, but you have to do them in order. Yeah, there are a lot. So next time, we're going to go do the Justice campaign. Justice! And, um, yeah. That's, that's it. That's pretty much it. I like the art style in this game. I like the way it plays. It's pretty much like Magic the Gathering. I think that's where it has me sold. I'm going to have to see how the constructed atmosphere works with 80 card decks. Because I can barely make 30 card decks work in Hearthstone, so... That's more one-dimensional. This has a little more depth. Anyway, I'm going to call this part. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more, uh, Let's Play soon. Such as Eternal. And other things. I don't know. Such as eternal.